et cetera, et cetera. But so the usually, and they do like six across, but sometimes they can be four by ten. But six six by ten is usually your mm -hmm. your space. And uh, he has it laid out because right now I think we only have about three hundred spaces there. But he's tightened up because we're going to have to draw the lines and be handicap accessible and all those wonderful things that um, we're going to squeeze as many parking stalls as we can get out here when people have to take away. Exactly. So, because you know, honestly, the numbers I picked around with, you know, are figuring basically twice as long as you're calculating, it, it comes up substantially less than 355. Yeah, because here we're not digging it up and relaying it here. You just kind of going over it. an inch and a half coat over the top. You yeah. say, let's drop yeah, it. Yeah. You get, Parking you're, blocks. But you're not, so what we have out there is chip seal. Yeah. You got to come back in and do some more base because it's just not. Okay. And what we're doing is not necessarily another layer of chip seal. They're going to be actually on Oh, yeah. Base. What they do is they chip seal it again and then they lay it over the top. Yes. You don't have to do all the base work. It's already done. It's already done. Well, the, the base is still lacking. I mean, because if you look at it, we still need to add yeah. some bases. I think yeah. we look at this uh, proposal here. They're going to do uh, some days, and then we have to have the concrete for the drainage improvements. The wheel stops, so we have enough, but not as many as they should have. And then we definitely have to have the proper striping. As you will, I parked on this side. As you see, they don't have the handicap on both sides. We don't have enough. There's and that's at the fire lane, because right now we don't have enough. But we need to be able to have that striping in the signs. And so those kind of materials and things we need to have to, if you're going to do the park downs. Like if I'm yeah. having the cake, I need to have the icing too. Uh, you just can't give me the eggs and the milk. So. I'm not. I'm not having much heart right over the item two through seven, but I remember one with just an inch and a half of hot mix on top. Hot mix, I don't love it. I mean, I love so the hot, hot mix. Hot mix is what you need to, should have been done the first time, but it, mm -hmm. it is what it is. Yes, and um, you can only spend what you have. I'm doing the hot mix in the parking lots if I can uh, digress in the other parking lots downtown, and uh, that's what I'm trying to get uh, them to go towards is the hot mix. It's not asphalt, but it's as close to we're going to get, and it's a lot better than what we have out there for the chip seal. And there's a dust issue that comes in because, uh, you know, it, the dust and the things as people coming in, and that doesn't last. Helps the AC, yeah. So it's really going to be uh, something to do that. Um, I don't know how you're going to do that. If, if it's 50%, um, then how do you all want to be able to do it? I personally don't. I think we're better off I don't think it's tied, to a num tied to an invoice or to a bid package and go through that versus a percentage because I think we lose control. Well, do you want us to put, I, I mean, I can put out the bid and see if the bid's coming in. Can we just say we're going to be, can we make a motion that we're going to partner with the project um, and then we'll finish the bidding, the percent or the money after we get the bid? Can, is that like a back? Can we do it like that? Like just yeah. You all you have to do is just bring back the resolution. Okay. Later. I mean, I mean, I, I feel more comfortable not putting an amount and just saying we're going to partner up with the project to help cover the cost. And once we get the bid, then you say okay, the get bid the comes back at two seventy five. Hotel, the hotel motel can put in fifty seventy five thousand. We'll put in the rest. You know what I mean? What do you think, Danny? That sounds good. You know, we're you know we're, we're, we're committing to do something. and said we're nobody on other. So just, uh, I, I can I can. I tell know the city's you. looking at. Other uh, expenditures here in the building, like a sign or something. So it also depends on what your hotel motel tax budget looks like. Well, the, the hotel motel tax, and Mr. Gonzalez can attest to this, is a sensitive subject right now, and they're spending. So they're trying I to. I don't have an idea. <laughs> they're they're going uh, the to be able <laughs> to see. It. And so definitely they want to be able to do some signage. Uh, they're willing to do a, a large sign. Uh, one of the things, can I talk about the sign? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, one of the things we, we talked about is actually coming to apply to the council, to, to this board for the signage, but they'll have to come back at a different time. So there's some signage, that type of signage you're speaking of. So I'll know better uh, if we have some solid numbers. And I think if, if I'm not hearing correctly, you could probably think about uh, feeling better to make a commitment once we have some solid numbers and not the engineer's best guess estimate on this. Uh, myself personally, I'd feel a whole lot better about that. So then we can go out to bid, no harm in that one. Actually, um, if we can um, kick these out together, uh, and because it's always a comic scale, then you know somebody may say, oh, you know, you're gonna bid these. There'll be two separate projects, but they'll see this and then they won't be able to do some things such as that. So I can instruct, interpret, that's our engineer for this project. 
to prepare bid specifications for this project. And this is the materials only because materials only. the city will be doing the work. And then, and then we'll come back and see where we are in the numbers. Is that is that fair assessment? I'd like that it much better personally, but what do y'all think? I'd like to get some numbers. I right? think that we need to have uh, some kind of approval here with the conditions or you know, things that you're talking about here and kind of put this approving business to bed and then decide based on whatever goes on, you know what the amount is. But I still like the not to exceed. Uh, and and I, you know, we're not going to cover the whole excuse me, cost of the of the materials, right? Okay, I was, I was so we're going to do a percentage of them. But So the deal, if we get the bids first, we'll see what how the bid package comes in. We can look at it and make a conscious decision mm -hmm of what percentage we feel comfortable that we can afford no, I, to pay. I think we need to have a set of How many dollars? Yeah, we can afford to pay 75 percent of three hundred five is two hundred sixty-six thousand. So why, why don't we just have a, a, a set figure of not to exceed two hundred and fifty? Well, we're committed to do the project in federal. We're going to give us the numbers in front. We're going to we're we're commit exactly to what we're doing. We're just doing it. We're, we're going to do it. No, I understand. One way or the other. I think when the here some commitment. Well, I think the commitment is we're going to partner up with them to do it. And then when the bid comes back, the bid may come back at like Ray said, it may I come back at, and Maybe then we can say. Way low in this rate. If you all want, we talked about the bid. And, and the not to exceed takes care of that. Anyway. So would you? We can we can schedule these at night if you want to. Now we have open up during the day. We can schedule these at night if you all like an like evening. Uh, to open up the bids, it, sometimes it might not make sense to get the contractors there. But you know, when we have them at 10, 2 o'clock, I'm never at 5. We can always whatever up time we set too. so that more the board can come. Mm -hmm. and, now, you have to help me out, Mr. Attorney, if, if it's an open public bid, do I have to post it? Does, does he have to post it? No, no, no. We're not bidding it. If the city's doing the project, then you follow your procurement. Okay, okay. Because uh, typically, because um, typically, because it's a public notice and we're doing it, we don't discuss. No, the city's not. Uh, EDC is not doing the project. We're just authorizing the expenditures, so we're not involved in any of that. So, what about the city puts CMD? Would you want to have it an evening? Would you all want to have an evening bid opening so that you would have opportunity? I know some people do work. Oh, that's fine. I mean, we could have it in the evening. We can have it during the day. But. Yeah. Well, I would say if we do, if we put a, if we do a not to exceed, I would like to just add in whoever does a, if we do a motion, just saying that if we do a not to exceed, that the city has to allocate some money to help. So if the bid comes in under the not to exceed. We're still allocating the city to put in some of the hotel motel tax money to help pay for it. It's a partnership. It's not like, oh, we're doing not to exceed this number, and the bid comes in under that number, and they think, oh, well, it came in under that number. They did not to exceed, and they pay 100 percent of it. I want them to what still if, have. Why do we say that we commit or approve or whatever it is that that we will partner with the city to pay for half? of the materials not to exceed 250. Our part or total? No. Our part would be half of whatever it costs, but not to exceed 250. If it's less than that, we still pay half of And then if we could add in there, the city has to make contributions to that. Well, they're motion. going to have to, you know, but yeah. you know, let me make a motion on that. And, and help me here if you know if I'm not doing it exactly right. You know, is everybody clear on, on what Fred's recommending? Question. As clear as I can make it. <laughs> you're, you're saying uh, up to 250000 What I'm saying is we are partnering with the city to provide for the materials. Blah, 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 mm -hmm. We're just saying materials, nothing more. Mm -hmm. Up to half of the cost, but not to exceed 250 So what I'm hearing is it would be half of 250 If it were 250 it would be half of that. So what's half of three fifty? We don't need to say the city will do their part. They will because they can't get from here to there. That's one hundred seventy-seven. When we say half, half is only one hundred seventy-seven thousand. So do you want to just say not to exceed two fifty? Yes. You know, it's, we we don't know yet what the cost, the total cost of the materials is going to be. We don't. Mm -hmm. And the city has always said, at least I remember that, that we were going to partner half and half. Or partner whatever percent they could put in at the hotel motel type. So they may be able to put in fifty thousand, 
because the other budget has like signage or other stuff. Because yeah, okay. it's hard to, it's hard to do that number with them not knowing. So say it again in some kind so of. So I would just say like we're going to partner with the city. If you want to put an amount not to exceed, but under the condition that the city still has to pay us part of it, work because if say the bid comes in at two forty and we do not to exceed two fifty, I don't want the city to come back and say, oh. They said not to exceed 250. The bid came at 240 because you I mean I think the numbers are about 100,000 off, 75 at least. So let's say it comes in okay. that, and then oh we don't have to put any money in because they said not to exceed it. Well we there there's no partnership in that. So I just want to make sure that they're going to put whatever. Well, you know, maybe Henrietta can clear that clear yeah. this up for me. But when we say partner with the city, half and half of the cost. I don't think they have time, so. Listen, but not to exceed 250. Now, the one half is going to come under 250, we're going to pay less than that. Mm -hmm. right. right? Yes, sir. But that would also mean that the city puts in that much. And I don't know if the Hotel Motel Tech has that kind of budget. So you, you indicated that it wouldn't be only hotel motel tax. It wouldn't be only hotel motel tax. There's some other funding that we can use. We have some money to actually maintain the event center, some other places that we can uh, we can put together. But I did I did always intend that the city would be contributing uh, an amount. I just didn't know about the amount. Well, what, to be to be very comfortable here, because we're we're going to make a motion tonight. But, you know, I don't want to make something that's going to put us in a bind one way or the other. So, do we make the motion? So, t tell me what what you feel comfortable. With. Well, I think the fifty sounds more than fair. Okay, um, and so the fifty percent may not all come from hotel motel tax. It can come from other locations. So, we want hotel cities. On things, anything I can, I can get put on this project so that it can get it done. And so, I think the only reason why I have that number is because the income came up with it. I have to have some number. So, so what, what you're saying, if I understand you correctly, if we say half and half of the city for materials, but not to accept 250, you don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. Or it, it, it may be less than 250. See, all I'm saying, we pay, never pay more than 250. Yeah, but, you, but you're looking at this for a, a spread, spread commitment. I understand that, Fred. That's not a bad idea. And you're looking for commitment. I'm looking for the straight number. Well, well let's, let's do this. I, I, yeah. saying, well, I wouldn't have it not to exceed if I wasn't The only thing I, I have a thing with is the 50%, because the number throws me off. And I, I just can't wrap my head around 50% of 355 is 175. So what if we do same motion? Up to seventy-five percent, not to exceed two hundred fifty thousand. Seventy-five percent of three hundred fifty-five thousand is two hundred seventy-seven thousand. So we say to we're going to help up to seventy-five percent, not to exceed two hundred fifty thousand. I feel more comfortable with that because then the numbers and the percentages align. So that way we're we're committing to seventy-five percent of the project, not to exceed that. So if the bid comes in at two forty, what's seventy-five percent of two forty? And the city pays the rest. I agree with you hundred percent. I'll say it. <laughs> Backwards. Okay. So um, I'll approve and authorize the project for the paving uh, for the event center slash sports complex parking lot uh, and establish not to exceed 75%, uh, not to exceed 250,000. But you said up to 75, uh, up, not to exceed. Yeah, up to 75, not to exceed $250,000. Up to 75%? Up yeah, up to 75% of the material only. Yeah. Up to the material only, not to exceed $250,000. And you're proposing our expenditures two fifty or the or the bids two fifty? Um, no. The seventy five percent of the bid, not to exceed two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So if the bid comes in at two hundred forty thousand, then we only pay seventy five percent of two hundred forty thousand. Right. And the city's got to come with the other twenty five percent. But never, we never. But we're not going to exceed it. But we're. I, I would like to. Okay. We're not going to exceed that number. You, we're going to commit that. So if the bid comes out at three fifty five, we're only going to commit two hundred fifty thousand because the bid comes at three fifty five. 75% is uh, 277,000. How, how do we get from 50 to 75? He gave it. I just think it locks us in the 75% of the bid. He wants to make sure that, that we can do it, that they can do they it. They can at least put in 25%. Because, you know, we're concerned that, that out of the hotel, motel tax, and whatever else may not be sufficient. I want this thing done. I yeah. think all of us do. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, unless they want it done. Okay, so why don't, why don't we say something like this? Okay. Well, 
There's never been a second. I mean, you, you, I'll, I'll second his. Okay. No, no. What, what are you worried? I'm going to amend his motion. Amend my motion. Go ahead. Okay. Approval of authorizing a project for paving the event center sports complex parking lot on materials required up to 75%, but not to exceed a limit of 250000 Sounds good. Oh, that sounds really good. A second for me. <laughs> Believe me. It's something close. Okay. You want to second that or I'll second? I'll second that. Okay. I have a motion, my friend, and second by the I made the motion, you amend it, you second it. Okay. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Because then you only have a second conversation. Yeah. So the next item just is approve the resolution with the amount that you just said, Mr. Let's say it again. <laughs> <laughs> just a test to make sure. Item D. Yes, sir. Approval of the resolution authorizing the authorizing expenditures for paving for the event center sports complex parking lot in accordance with the board authorized authorization amount. Which means according to regular analysis motion. I move that we approve. Second. I have a motion by Fred, second by Danny. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item E. Approval of the amended bylaws of the Florida Economic Development Corporation related to number, qualification, and tenure of the, of the board of directors, members, to send to City Council for consideration and approval. Do we have specifics on that? I, I know we went through that the last time. You've got a copy of the bylaws and yeah. under. What, what, what we're doing is we're removing the limit of, of four, three terms. Mm -hmm. Terms. You took out Meaning the six year limit goes away. It's gone. And then we're eliminating the staggering of the uh, appointments. Here, yeah. and uh, if you look at three point. Zero two, there, there is no language uh, no, like staggered out. terms or a maximum amount. So that's been pulled. The only thing left is that everybody is for two year terms of office. That's it. Mm -hmm. Your staggered mm -hmm. terms and your um, uh, six year coming. Yeah, that's all I'm gone. Yes, sir. I'll make that motion. And you're still serving at the pleasure of the council, so. I'll second it. Yeah. And, and they have a lot of pleasure in it. Well, of course they do. One question. When was this uh, put into place? When, when, when was this changed? I don't remember this being that thing. You were... I wasn't, on, I wasn't mayor anymore. I don't think that's that. No. And no, I wasn't on the board either. I think it was Sherry. Sure, I'm not sure. No, it was maybe. No, it was, it was, it was before that. that. Okay. This was... Okay. Yeah. Well, when, I think it was 2014. Yeah. It was... It was about five I years ago. I was born and you were not on. No. Yeah. It was. No. And the other week. Probably five years ago. Okay. Yeah, in 20, the, the, the bylaws for EDC was in place in 2013. Mr. Baker, please kind of rely on your memory. But since you've been executive director, have you brought, I don't remember you bringing bylaws to approval for the city council. Uh -huh. So that was 2013. So this is prior to 2013. That was when Ram was in on the what, what, what's uh, I, I don't, does it make a difference? What, no, what, no, what, no, what, no, just what's 13 and 5? 13 and 5, that's like 18. Huh? What year are we in? Five years? Yeah, five years. Almost like you got it. No, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, but, but I remember this, I was not in that. On, on the board when that happened. It was before you got to get time. Like, no, <laughs> no I'm preparing the okay. So, we got a so motion a second since we clarified history. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. The motion is by who? Fred. My motion by Fred. Second, second, second by Dan. Second, second by Ben. Second. All those in favor? Okay. Yeah. All opposed? Motion passes. Okay. Item number F. <clears throat> Approval and of authorization is authorizing a project and to move forward with securing bids for Christmas decorations and lighting for the downtown area. I think we discussed this during our workshops, and I just felt that it was something that we could we could do better on as a city. Well, they don't turn the lights off right now. Okay. 
I, I the Christmas lights they have up, they don't yeah. turn off? I, I have a question. Are those Christmas lights? Can I have a question? Yes, ma'am. Just Terry has a question. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so um, the city and the chamber partnered together to do the lights that we have now. Those are on the Phelps, on the wires, so yeah. we can do those lights now. I think, um, surprisingly, even Peanut Festival enjoy those lights that we put up there this year. It gives some light. The problem that the city has, now a different, is that we couldn't repair those lights that were on people's buildings. Those lights have been out there for over, I know, a decade, and so they're disintegrating a lot. You need to rewire it. But because it's on private property, I can't touch it. Can we all. do it with the same letter that we're doing with the parking lot? So they're already approving us to go in the parking lot. Why can't we mm -hmm. fix the lights? Well, Knock it all out at once. Because, you know, you have to ask people, can I come? Even though it's kind of like, kind of since you can say, it's, I'm going to make the place look better, I still have to ask your permission. Plus, with the lights, there's a cost because it's going to hit on your Phelps bill. And so there's a Christmas. Then, well, we're going to put a poll on the side. Yeah, the city on Port of Phelps? 60%. And we're good to go. I want that money. But also, you have to Well, they got, they, they have my bill 100 bucks last month, so, so they can pay it on that. So then the other thing you have to think about is that. Okay, so I, I turn on my lights. She may not turn on her lights. And when she goes home, she turns off her lights. So then I still get this. So can we put a separate poll at the end, and then whatever those lights plug in, then if we decide to up something like that, we... Danny, let's, uh, maybe, at, at least for me, can you describe what uh, you felt was inadequate this year? I mean, was it around the courthouse, or was it lighting? Was it having the trees no more? It's the whole down <laughs> Like, what can we help? I mean, what can we help y'all? The, the chamber. All the lights we have are, are the lights of, on on the little go across the street. That's, 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 that's all I got. It's supposed to be brighter, and more colorful. Oh, well, we have this thing. A few years ago, the FEDC. Well, let me, let's go back. Another history lesson. Yeah, seven or eight years ago, there used to be a, a night parade that actually the FEDC started, uh, and there was. We would have a night parade, and there would be a lot of visitors come downtown. There would be food booths. I think it, one of the first parades we had, like maybe ten thousand people downtown. Yeah, because we had we had a big old float. Like we had, and what they themed it like one year in the, when the chamber took over was like uh, countries around the world. So you had like a like a like a Asian float, a Mexican float, a, you know, European float. And it was just like the churches participated, the, the businesses, families participated. It, it started off as a small parade, maybe 50, 60 entries, mm -hmm. but it was something we could build upon and bring visitors into our town. So are, is part of that lighting? Or part of it was lighting. Mm -hmm. Part of it was lighting. We did like a big tree. There was a, a big, big tree. tree. There was a big tree. There was a, a turn of the tree that have a, a lighting of the tree. Yeah, actually. we had a ceremony. And, and one of the, I think, was really costly. They did the whole... Uh, the courthouse. The courthouse, yeah. Yeah, we, we, the we built the whole courthouse. It was beautiful. Can I jump in? Yeah, please. Okay, the reason why the big tree didn't go up this year is because there is an issue with electrical. There's no place to plug in the tree to light the tree. The, the, uh, the chamber owns a tree in the box. It's in a box. It takes, a, it takes a small army to get that yeah. tree out but of the box. This is holding the box. I have the box. Yes. And but by the time you get the tree up, there is no electricity to plug the tree Well, that's what I'm saying. If, can, can we use some of our marketing dollars for this? Because one of the things we want to do is we, we want to bring people to our community. And what better way to market during the holiday season? So if we have a marketing budget, and part of that marketing budget, correct me wrong, <coughs> is to come in and put these electrical boxes in so we can light a tree Put these electrical boxes on the end of the building so that so the taxpayers don't have to pay the ta the electric bill. Just give us permission to put the lights up. I mean, little kids. I mean, I, I I'm, I'm tired of going to Windcrest in the San Antonio to go look at lights. I would rather drive downtown and look at them, or go down when I'm going to the movie theater. So anything we can do to help. So if we're if we can use some of those marketing dollars just to promote our town, like oh man, people might want to come downtown and shop or go to the, do that. But the lighting on the on the building itself is going to be hard if you want to say the town square, and you, that ends up being the county building. Well, because like right now, there's no definition of the lights. So the lights, they go on every night. I went to the movies on Saturday night, or Friday night. They, they the, 
they stay on. So there's no like lighting of downtown. It's just a standard light. So you don't change between seasons right now. It's on a timer. They're on from six to six. Yeah. So so when you turn it on, it's not like oh Christmas. There's well, let me ask uh, the city manager or ED director. Are we happy with those lights? Do we? Does that reflect our, our community? What we no. Have out there? No. Okay. I think we need something more decorative for sure. And I like the corner. Like if the chamber does it, what, so what, what do they need? Do differently. I think if we, to me, everybody goes to even the other day, um, the Lions Club came and they're doing their auto show, their car show. Everything's happening right there by the peanut. And so if we can decorate the peanut where the tree goes and 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 decorate our, our historical downtown and, and designate an area that you want to be the center and the core, then I think we can focus on that and get that going. Yeah, and this doesn't have to be, a, you know, we do it all in one year. This could be a progressive, you know. Yeah, it's just a place to plug yeah. in stuff to start Get with. to a point where, yes, you know, this is a, a place. And, to, and do we want to put up the ugly box because, or the ugly tree, because that's the tree. Or do we need to buy a new one? I mean, do we, we do need to buy yeah, a can new we, one. Then that's it's, what we need to hear from ugly. the... It's yeah. ugly. Everybody okay. said it's ugly, but so that, it's not that's the chamber's thing. responsibility to divvy up $20,000 that the chamber doesn't have. It isn't, but I think that's 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 what we need to work as a team and say, okay, Correct. what does the chamber need? And like Danny said, if we go, the FBC, obviously we're willing to step back involved because we put it part of our goals. So let's work together as a team. Let's unite. Let's make this... Yeah. The best time of the season for our community. I mean, if you could imagine, I mean, actually, you all had snow this year. We actually had yeah. snow. That if we had like a winter wonderland and it was, we and get all done by the then. county was decorated, and I hate to say it, that the Christmas usually starts in Thanksgiving, you know. So we could say, you know, from Thanksgiving on, right on Thanksgiving time mm -hmm. in November, after Halloween, I get through Halloween because we start decorating for Christmas, but I mean, after Halloween, then we can decorate the court house from that time to that time. Mm -hmm. and Everything's gone. Yeah. You know, by the first of the year, we can have them come pick it up. If that can be the focus. And so then, it's a lot easier to get permission from the county than for me to do Tom and everything. So maybe we, oh, maybe the first years, we know we put in the basics. We put in the boxes and upgrade the boxes. Because if we put in the boxes, you can use them at Christmas, Peanut Festival, whoever uses them. And then um, we can get electricity. Then we already have the lights, so maybe the lights aren't the big deal this year. Maybe we upgrade the tree the first year. And then I, yes, um, I so talked yeah. to someone that owns, actually I talked to And then maybe to, hang some lights from the other trees. Well, I talked to Intrepid and they said that they'd be willing, if it was some serious money, they said they'd be willing to decorate out. And he said something like, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a prize of $500 that they would decorate out. Yeah, and a downtown window, like the, a window prize. And then that would, if that would make a volume from everybody else. Um, we decorated the courthouse. That's our historical line. And then, okay, and then let's go around and have a prize. And EDC, since if, if they're right exactly the prize, we'll the easy, mm -hmm. that they get to pick the winner and it ends up on Starting the most kind of news, and then everybody's getting more competitive. And, and, you know, have a cash prize so that individual owners can yeah. say, I've, but, you know, I had the best window, I had the best building. And yeah, but $25 doesn't motivate anybody. No, no, no. $500, no. Two fifty. You, say, you, you, could have different, you could have the best buy. outdoor decoration, the best window decoration. Your outdoor volume. decoration, you're putting the money on the outside, making the lights look real nice, then you're going to get a substantial prize. If you're just doing a window decoration, it would be that. It's like a no box. So, we can't pay, right? What? We couldn't pay oh, for what? a prize. So for a marketing, like a marketing thing like that? Um, I think that, that might be okay. The EDC oh, today. Okay. It's like a tree deal would be okay for sure. Wouldn't it? A tree deal would be okay for sure. Yeah, you couldn't right? do a raffle. No, but you could do a prize because it's marketing. Oh, yeah. A cash prize as far as, as, far as marketing. We're limited to 10% for promotions of your yeah. budget. Yeah. And for marketing. So 10% of 30 grand is 300 bucks. You could do a 300 dollars prize. No, no. What's your. No. He's home. Oh, shoot. No, no, right. Promotions are. 80,000. Oh, okay, it's 80,000. Okay. But with all the electro outlets that are down there, it shouldn't be that big a deal to run. But they're not lights, decorations. Have, so, so you said the biggest thing was y'all don't have a place to plug it in. Okay, because they're plugging in around. They have a few. They have, a, they have some big boxes. They have big okay. boxes. There's water and somebody steps in it. Yes. And then they have these big boxes. And so if I get the tree over here, i got to have all these cores. And some cores. Correct. And that's now, not safe either. If you were to look at somebody decking out, the courthouse, then you have somebody come in professionally do it, do the light, do this, and the tree, and all that. Like City Hall. Like City Hall is a brand new building. We want to showcase it when you put some places in there. And again, there's not enough electricity around there to do that either. But we can work so, on that. Phil's will work on that. I've been Phelps. working on 
Yeah. We could run underground deal and then after Christmas. We could so run. can we just make an approval saying that water didn't get in it? So for the, can we just make an way. approval authorizing that we're going to move forward to secure uh, bids um, and working with the chamber to see what they need to help with the Christmas decorations and lighting for the next upcoming season? Well, I think the chamber has said, well, they should be something there's, like There's companies that do it. I mean, yeah. They'll come in. Yeah, yeah, we can pay a company to come do it where you don't have to do it. Yeah. But like, I'm just talking about like, what do you need? Like right now, you come and say, hey, we don't have a place to plug the tree in. Or hey, our tree's horrible, we need a tree. That's what we need. We, we don't want to make decisions without stepping on toes. At least, you know, have the data to back it up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.